So for the death's head moths, the first thing you want to do is, unlike with the butterflies, you don't really have to pinch the abdomen too much, but you kind of want to finagle the wings with your hands and pull on them a little bit. Don't, you know, try and tear them, but just stretch them out up above the head like so. Then you're going to want to stick a the thickest pin that you have through the underside. Um, doing them verso is just a lot easier in my opinion. And you're going to want to, when you do that, make it as straight as possible, perfectly uh, straight through the body, but underneath the skull, uh, the he little head figure on its the back of its head. So uh, make sure to do that and then kind of plug it into one of your largest gaps on your framing board. The wings for these are a little tough so once you cover it with glass you're going to want to secure its butt with pins like so just to kind of keep it in place and keep it straight. Then you're going to take your other pin and while lifting up the uh, top of the glass you're going to kind of uh, just use your pin along the veins of the wings to bring them up to a angle. But while you're doing this, um, try to move the hind wing with the fore wing a little bit so the hind wing doesn't fall behind. Otherwise you're going to have to take the glass off, fix the hind wing back in front of the fore wing and then start over. You can do it at whatever angle makes you comfortable. This is just the angle in which we prefer to do the wings. So just do whatever you feel like. Uh, this is how we sell them. So. I stick pins through the wings because they have very tough wings and it can be very difficult to keep their wings in place, especially when you go to move the other side of the wings. And for the antennae, um, they're kind of straight and you don't want them straight up as much as you would like with a butterfly. So we just kind of leave them out at an angle towards the side. Use pins to secure them in place and keep them as straight as possible.